The problem. Hashtag problem. If you want a problem, also the name. Hello guys, in today's video, we're returning to the previous video of the Odin Sniper build. So let's get to it. Um, it's going to be the first time that I'm actually trying it out as a sniper in Warzone. I used it a lot in multiplayer, absolutely grinded it, it's destroyed my kill death ratio. I would not recommend using this gun ever. <laughs> in multiplayer uh... oh no that's not that was, uh, something for the range the range foregrip so I'm going to be trying it with, as you probably just saw it was a bit fast but the Colossus Suppressor the Order Factory 810mm range of foregrip for extra range, a rubberized grip tape and a burst fire I was hoping that there would be in the ammunition similar to like the M4 maybe um, something that does added damage unfortunately not but burst by your times too we can I think I can make this work um, just realized I can't have the grip tape I need to have the zoom score now look at that range, that range is probably the same as the AX50 or the Core 9 8K the damage might not be exactly there but with the burst fire I'm gonna think it'll be two times that damage essentially I'm not too sure on oh yeah it's gonna have to be the range for grip I think let's have a look at what else we could put on instead No, it's definitely the range four grip. I didn't max level this gun because when I got to the bottom ones, I just thought, well, I can't have presence of mind on because I need burst fire. Um, I don't need that for a sniper. <coughs> and the range of four grip is obviously better for this build than the operator four grip as it adds more range, and we need all the range we can get. I am a bit worried about how this is going to go, to be honest. It performs well, but you know there's a difference between a high-powered assault rifle and a sniper. But I was thinking after this this video, I might do a video about the M4 converted into a sniper rifle, simply because of as I mentioned earlier, these 10-round mags that added damage and range. And if we paired that with a three-round burst. I think that would just destroy as a sniper build. I'm hoping within the next season they add some more snipers because we have, what is it, we have two, I think. Two snipers we have. Oh, three, sorry. But I've, I've never even used a dragon oven in this game. I, I would probably more likely use it in hardcore, but I don't really snipe in multiplayer as I don't really think. There's probably about two or three maps, in my opinion, that are big enough to even snipe, and there's not really many good sniping spots, to be fair. See, we have lots of Mortison rifles. The only one I would recommend using as a sniper is actually the Carbine 8 k The Carbine is okay-ish, but not real, none of them are really good for Warzone. The crossbow can be a good challenge. But if you, I wouldn't recommend sniping with it. The amount of corrections you have to do just to get a one kill with it, like, is unless you're running it as a an aggressive build with everything aimed down sight and thermite, then yeah, it is epic. But it'd be like using the 725 really as your primary. <laughs> I wouldn't really recommend it. But yeah, I would also kind of like to try out the AK can be converted into a sniper but it doesn't really do it for me there's nothing not no other attributes of it that give it that sniper feel maybe the score but definitely oh the foul actually didn't really think about the foul to be fair i wouldn't really even class the foul as an assault rifle i would put it more in marksman rifles to be fair it's not really a typical assault rifle is it but yeah let's just get into it now uh, where are we at Auden? 
to change this up a bit. We'll have shrapnel with two from in mines. That way, because I'm going to be camping. Hopefully, I can get downtown. I'm not really going to edit. If I make any mistakes and I have to keep searching for like a couple of games, I'm, I'm probably not going to edit it out. Uh, two reasons. One, because I can't really be bothered, to be honest. And the second reason is because I'm not really a YouTuber who doesn't want people to see my mistakes. I never really edit any mistakes out of my videos. Uh, right, let's go. Uh, don't forget to like and subscribe if you enjoy my videos. Really appreciate the subscribes more than you would think to be fair. I say that, but to be fair, I only really make the videos for fun out of boredom. Seems as we're all locked in our houses, I've got nothing really more productive to do. Hoping to get a better mic so that I don't sound like Shaq. I've, I've tried using my uh, headset mic, <coughs> but it just sounds like I'm sat under an aeroplane wing. And my actual mic that is, I've, I've got with the uh, computer just makes me sound like Shaq. It's like the deepest voice I've ever heard. don't really like having my own voice in my videos though to be honest I think I might have mentioned it in yesterday, no, right, yesterday's video, yeah yesterday's video first part of the Odin build I'm not sure if I mentioned it or not but I don't really like doing having my voice in my videos because I feel like you can see what I am doing sometimes like, I wish I put voice over in my um, what was it called now? The uh, self-isolation challenge slash quarantine challenge that a few of us did. We basically had to pick one building in the war zone map and try and stay in it as much as possible. Like You could only leave twice once for exercise, which was to get your weapons from the free lord out. And the second time was to go to a shop. I came second in that game and actually at the end I was quite surprised and it kind of made me not want to upload the video because I was actually killed by someone with the name COVID-19 and I thought that's kind of a bit I don't know, it might upset a few people but obviously I don't have a lot of viewers so it's not that a lot of people to upset I plan on dropping oh, circle so I'm going to drop downtown and hopefully we can get a little bit of sniping in but this circle is definitely going to end at the prison. I feel a bit dumb for not going straight to the prison because there's enough money there to get my own lord out and all this, that and the other. But yeah, whatever happens, happens. Like I said, I'm not going to edit it out. If I die right now, like there's two other enemies here. If I die now, I'm not really... not really asked. the hell? So I just lost all of my armor for pretty much no reason. I would rather have the X16 than that pistol. <coughs> Someone else on in. No, let's go, go, go. For anyone that doesn't already know this, I would really recommend going into your settings and changing your yeah, there's someone landing now. Should have just, should have expected that to be honest. Let's go and greet him. But yeah, as I was saying, um, for anyone that doesn't already know, I would highly recommend going into your settings. And, um, I think it's in your controller, controller settings, and switching. Oh my god! I ain't about to get killed by two pistols. Total hybrid. But yeah, I'll start again. So, I was saying about going into your button settings. Wow! Shambolic. What just happened? Go into your settings. Go into your controller settings. 
change the X button's behavior so that it is contextual tap. So that way when you're picking up stuff, you don't, you no longer have to um, hold it. You just tap it as you're going past the weapon or whatever and it helps you. You'd think, oh, it's not really going to make much of a difference, but when you're, uh, oh, bad idea. When you're in that position where I was at the beginning, if you saw, he's chasing me. Hello, friend. Just who we need right now, to be honest. Uh, when you're landing and there's a couple of people, it can really help. That couple of seconds difference, with, like me picking up the user and then having a pistol gunfight and being able to take out the survivor really easily it helps, but don't really, to be honest, don't really see how he managed to kill me, um, I just don't see how he managed to kill me, I put like, how many rounds did I put in him, I'm going to rewind this video later on to find out, but, <coughs> I literally took all his armor, he shot me a few, oh, I had no armor, that's probably how he took me out, alright, I need to uh, concentrate now, so I'm probably not going to speak for a few minutes, because I need to find some money. Let's have a look. Oh, there's just bounties. I don't really have the armor capacity to be doing bounties. Enemy UAV already. UAV already, brilliant. Yeah, like I said before, I'm not going to bother to edit out this. If this goes completely wrong and I die here, then so be it. I might just go and rush him because he really annoyed me, to be honest. Try and find some armor. And then I'm going back up to that tower. To be fair, could just uh, camp it out for a little bit and wait for the free load out drop, but what's the fun in that? I think I hear someone to the right. Probably should have been running. I really do be finding some more now. Do you have any suggestions for a video? Any kind of video, I don't mind. Uh, like I said, I'm fully maxed out on my levels. I don't really have any other guns that I need to upgrade, so I'm just playing for fun really now. If you have any suggestions for any other kind of videos that you want to see, just put them in the comments. And I will... Do it. I, I will actually... I want to attempt uh, Warzone pistols only. That would be a good challenge. And people will be like, oh how would that work, so... You can have the Renetti, get two loadouts, have uh, the 357, not with a snake shot like people would say, but with a sniper scope for the lo uh, long range fights, and then have the Renetti, three round burst, not necessarily dual weld, oh someone's been here, could have a dual weld, because not really close to dual weld in my opinion, three round burst is very overpowered, like people just drop immediately. As soon as you're firing on them. Uh, what was that? Oh, I might just buy some more on them. I don't want to not be able to redeploy. Because I would rather get it all done in one game. Just so you don't have to skip any of the video. Mm -mm -mm. But I could really do with that tower building again. Is he still up there? Oh. So it's got to keep thinking I'm hearing someone over this way somewhere. Maybe they're still in the building just below. Do you fall to his death? He didn't pull a shoot and then the count, the enemy count went down. Alright, where can, where can, where will not be looted? Besides the roofs. It's a bit annoying that there is no, um, no search challenges around. I feel like a lot of the time, see all the challenges have gone already. A lot of the time, when the circle is mainly focused over one area, the majority of the challenges spawn there. I know that every circle, uh, new challenges spawn in to the area where the circle still is, but it's still quite annoying. 
Oh, I'm just gonna have to rush somebody and take their, their money and their shields because this is uh, this is getting a bit ridiculous now. How am I? This doesn't even feel like I'm downtown. The only enemy I've seen is them two that landed on that roof. <laughs> I should have just took the elevator and risked it. This is going to be a lot of effort for nothing if there's nobody up here. It's probably one of the slowest starts to a game of wars on there ever had. I probably normally would have a loadout by now. I would be on about nine grand, nine, nine and a half grand. Got stuck though. How many more floors is here? I think this is 15 floor building. Could have took the left as well. If you just saw there was no claim or surf for once. Looks like we're going for the free loadout. I don't even care at this point, I'm just gonna completely risk it. I'm not gonna overlook the area. I'm just gonna run in. Cramp the loadout and run for my life. Shields. Well, I don't even know why I call them shield. I've never even played Fortnite. Just because the majority of people I play with actually do call them shields. Oh, spicy boy coming at me. Where have you gone? Where have you gone? want to try and get back in that tower because I know for sure he did not drop down on Luke so I would have seen him jump off so he's either been killed or he's dropped down for his lord I'm a bit paranoid that he hasn't come back out but we'll see there's no one showing on my white beat sensor right now and I'm just going to uh, Gonna be a bit of a, uh, a risk. And take the lift, cause why the hell not? Now, I don't know if a lot of people have noticed. Oh, that door is shut and that is a bit worrying. Still not seeing anyone in the heartbeat though. He would not have got enough money off all of these dead bodies. He wouldn't have even risked losing his redeployment, I don't think. Yeah, it's definitely not here. If he comes back up, a little treat for him. Right, let's test this. Alden build. I did actually try the uh, original scope in um, multiplayer. Seems a bit inaccurate. Maybe if we're leaning on something. Hopefully, there'll be a sniper next to me on one of these roofs that I can uh, attempt to shot on. It's not, not looking very likely, though. Probably all gone to the prison by now, apart from these ones that are below us. I am not really sure how I feel about this gun right now. Don't know if that was just me bad shooting because I'm still quite tired. Or <laughs> Whether this gun is just really inaccurate with a three round, uh, two round burst. <coughs> like I said, I tried it out in multiplayer with a sniper scope on it and uh, uh, the one, you know, just the, the regular when you just switch it to one shot. Wow! Can't wait for him to drop down into them. Uh, I 
gonna drop straight down now, hopefully. Go through the door and be met Enemy by my permits in mind. Two. Which side are you on? That's that. Or not. Something isn't inside. Did he jump down after me? I really wish that there was someone else sniping around me, or I could attempt a headshot. See how it first, because as we know, the regular sniper rifles are a one-hit headshot down, headshot a uh, one-hit kill even on solos. Um, not really seeing anybody, but what the hell was that? Yeah, I'm not really playing to win as well, by the way. More for fun. Oh, there we go. Kind of straight back inside. Should have took the shot. That's the other reason I want to test assault rifles out as uh, snipers. Because in the snipers, obviously, you only get to carry um, 40 extra ammo. Oh, we need to move here. 40 extra ammo, and then uh, obviously that ammo that you can fit in your gun. Really, it doesn't really. It doesn't seem enough. <sighs> I knew I should, I should have just dropped at prison because there's someone going to be um, holding I didn't even see him how did I not see that? that was a bit of a pathetic play by me where are my weapons? There we are. <laughs> to be fair it would probably be wise to drop on prison and wait for the Lord out actually right now yeah, we'll go for the win. Don't seem to be anyone here. Which is probably quite dumb to be honest, because if you control these towers when the circle is as it is, you... Where am I getting... What the hell is happening? I didn't even see him up there. Are you crazy? Okay, so let's uh, attempt that again. This is going to be one of the longest videos I've ever made because we're already on 22 minutes, but like I said, I can't be bothered to edit it. So far, I'm seeing that the Orden isn't as good as I would hope it to be. Uh, but who knows, maybe it was just my bad accuracy, but I do feel that was more the Odin's um, recoil. I might even take the two round burst off it. There's nothing else really worth swapping. That was my fall. Falling out of my pocket, straight onto the floor. Um, yeah, the next video after this is going to be testing the M4 as a sniper instead. I don't even think I don't think it is as powerful, but I imagine with the less recoil, you can hit more shots on target. You never really realise how much the recoil affects your shots until you're using a sniper scope. <laughs> But yeah, as I, was, I said earlier, I wouldn't recommend using the Orden in multiplayer. I didn't necessarily mean multiplayer in general, but more of um, an aggressive gun. I would actually, if you play a hardcore, I would recommend using it as a sniper with one round, uh, one shot on it. Instead of any other sniper, to be honest, because the amount of fire rate would be greatly improved. 
Uh, then again, you could do that with pretty much any other assault rifle, except from in hardcore, the Orden is a one hit kill. Like, indefinitely, or you don't have to headshot anywhere in the torso, it's a one hit kill. That's the only reason I would recommend using it as a sniper in hardcore, but not on the smaller maps and don't use it as an aggressive gun because it playing the uh, shipment 24-7, the new variant of that with the rust and shoot shoot house has really destroyed my kill death ratio. I'm not really liking this circle. I'm thinking about dropping it down. It's one of my favourite spots to drop when I'm sniping because you can use all the mountain ranges all the way around depending on what circle you have. I do love sniping in downtown but you look at the circle I don't necessarily think a lot of people are going to be going there. Yeah as you can see the majority of people have come into the circle. I always think to myself when like in Soul Wars, pretty much everyone just heads straight to the circle. Um, imagine the amount of loot that is left over in the, at the end of the game that no one has took because, like, no one will have bothered going down here because there's no helicopters in the game now and people. <coughs> like, the um, vehicles, they've been nerfed to an extent where literally, you, you, as soon as you get in a vehicle, you're gonna die. You drive, you could literally, 1C4 kills pretty much any vehicle except the um, cargo truck. But that is so slow, when someone's throwing 1C4 you don't have time to get away from them. So then they throw another C4 and that's it, it's game over. It's not really... I know an enemy always there. They always do this and then they'll trade shots and then I'll... One of us will end up dead, and then it's just a waste of time, a waste of ammo, a waste of armor. What is he shooting? Wow! Let's get all the shield on first. He's going to be watching, wait and see what I'm doing. Surprise! I'm here. He's going to kill me, isn't it? I don't know what he's got, but it's very powerful. That is a sniper. And I just dropped down inside. I would rather him come to me at this point. <laughs> if I <clears throat> attempt for him to... um. If I attempt that fight with a sniper, I'm just going to lose all the armor I have. Oh. That's definitely a decoy, isn't it? What does he think that's going to do? Can't see him. I really didn't see him at first then. He was doing that with the core 98. Well, yeah, to be fair, I could probably do a similar with the car night here. I don't think they'll just smash you. I also think actually the P90 is quite an underrated gun. Like, sometimes I really don't like it, and then there's other times where I think, like, in times like that, like, you know, I didn't even see him at first, and he had shots on me first, but I still managed to kill him. <laughs> Don't know if that's just luck or if that was this gun being actually better than I thought it was. Don't know if I looted this area. Doesn't seem like there's anything even left to prefer. Uh, 
See, if I head up this mountain ridge here to my side, when the uh, first reload out comes, I'll be able to take that straight away, but I really, really would prefer to have some more money right now. And I can buy either self revive or... To be fair, I could just hide out on the back of the ice, and it will force the um, Lord out to land there. And I could probably get in that tower and snipe from there for a little bit. Yeah, that's the plan. I'm not really going to be trying to push many enemies just because of the... I'm, I'm making a video, I'm not like um, making a video about sniping, I'm not making a video about oh this is how good I am at pushing enemies, when really I'd rather not do that. Because when you pay, play aggressively for so long you kind of get a bit bored of it to be honest. Sniping is more of a challenge. Especially with the fact that, like, in a normal gunfight, the person you're fighting would, I would um, either have a, uh, oh, excuse me, I burped, um, they would normally have an assault rifle and a submachine gun or assault rifle and um, a RPG. Bearing in mind, when you're sniping, naturally you would want to be carrying an SMG and your sniper, so when you're getting to them up close gunfights, they're a bit more of a challenge. The best the best is um, quick scoping in Warzone. It's very stressful when you die, but knowing that you've just uh, got a three piece quick scoping, that, that is a satisfying feeling. <coughs> See, I don't know, I'm sure he just spawned in at the same time as me, it must have been that guy, but he's not dropped back in this area and I don't know why he wouldn't, because obviously there's still guns there. Unless he's probably thinking like me that there wasn't a lot of loot there. This is quite boring, just waiting for um, a free load out, camping here like this, but... I can hear someone snapping already. It's got such a fast ADS to have this re um, holographic sight on it, hasn't it really? I always preferred the GI uh, mini reflex. It's probably my go to red dot sight. This one isn't bad to be fair. I honestly think that that gas is going to push before the first three load outcomes, and I'm a bit worried about that. Because imagine if the gas starts coming, the free load out comes where I want it to spawn, that, that would be very annoying. Hopefully this isn't just a failed mission, and that the Horden actually comes through and we get a few kills with it. To be honest, from that last... I don't, honestly, I don't think... For God's sake. Why is the gas moving already? We should have 37, 33 seconds. I should have Oh, that's until the next circle moves. Damn. Yeah, I'm not, I'm not risking going that way. See, the three loadouts have dropped. That was more than one loadout, surely. Just in the circle. Thank, thank the Lord. What should I keep the air? Uh, oh, this is a bit bare, isn't it? Do I keep the M4 or do I keep the uh, P90? I'm gonna go with P90, I think. Is there anyone in there? Doesn't seem like it. I think that sniping tower ID is already out the window, so I'm gonna try and head up this ridge. Try and get around them. I feel like there will be enemies there already. Just a lot of the time when we have circles like this, they hope that it ends in our, uh, the military base area. Should play, I should be playing really more like when I play the stealth sniper uh, role, but I don't even think I've uploaded that video yet, you know, to be honest. This one's probably going to be up before that one. Just because, oh. He 
he's coming back. Maybe not. We'll leave him. Don't really want to get caught out in the middle of. Like, this is quite a good place to snipe, but if you think about it, there's two areas each side of you where you can be shot from, and there is nothing worse than getting third parties. I might just take oh. Yeah, I was going to say I might take that uh, quad and then I realised it doesn't naturally spawn here. So there's probably someone in here with ghost on, or someone's been here and left. Yeah, I'm starting to think the Odin sniper conversion is going to be a bit of a failure. I'm a bit good, kind of. I really liked the idea of the Odin being the most powerful sniper. I think I realised the moment, like, I saw the two round burst and I kind of thought, you know, with all the, um, added, uh, attachments, maybe it will sort the recoil so the two round burst could work more like the M16. Um, obviously it doesn't. But when I saw that there was no higher powered, uh, magazines for it. <coughs> My, uh thoughts seem to have come to light. <laughs> Need to find a better sniping position than this ridge though. A lot of people seem to camp out back on the ridges to snipe but in my um, experience you don't really get a, a high, like when you're sniping the majority of the time you, if you're role playing I guess it would be you're not really going for a um, you know, to win. You're going for a high kill game. I would be anyway. I always go for high kill games when I'm sniping. And at these ridges, you actually, in solos, maybe in trios it's different, but in solos you don't actually come across that many people. Like, sometimes you come across other people with the same idea as you. But, um... To be fair, I've done it and sniped the person in front of me, but it's not really a snipe, sniping engagement fight, it's more of a, obviously, your, whatever um, your secondary is going to be. I don't know why that door was open if the guy isn't around you anyway, but he's probably got ghost on, to be fair. I hate that. I feel like sometimes the no play zone should be pushed a bit further out. Because it is frustrating, you turn slightly and it's just like the screen is screaming at you to get back in the play zone. I think I'm going to have to, maybe, I, oh no, it looks like there might be a bit of cliff here to go across, but that gas is pushing in quite fast now. And I don't want to be caught having to run in a straight line. Yeah, I'm going to have to jump onto the road. How did I not die then? Is that because it wouldn't let me pull out my parachute so it felt bad if I died? Enemy fire on the right and didn't have time to mark it. Worrying. I can't believe there's no one else pushing in on this gas with me. Normally when you're um... The majority of people now seem to um... Play exactly the same, everyone comes in with the gas. Instead of defending the centre of the circle, can you snap a fire? I don't see anyone. Oh! How do I always almost lose against pistols? Look at that now, I've literally, he literally cost me my armor for nothing. Seems to be every time someone drops in from Gulag, that's why the majority of the time I back off. Because then pistols definitely aren't overpowered, I don't know if that happens to anyone else, just me, but that has took all of my armor now, for, no, for what, for me to kill him. Like, what did he think was going to happen then? I don't know if it's just me and I'm not as ballsy as most people in this game more, but I wouldn't push somebody when I've just come back from the gulag. 
with the pistol. I wouldn't risk it. Maybe if I thought they'd left the area to go and get whatever guns are left there, I might consider it. But like you saw in um, the last game, the minute I saw that guy was on the roof, I was like, nope. Oh, this video's 40 minutes, man. That is the longest video I think I've ever made, apart from when I used to strip. Oh, wow. Less, less ammo though actually. Can't believe there was no armor in it. Orange loot crate. Armor satchel. No, no armor. Feel like I've done a lot more running than sniping. After this game I'm going to have to end the video because of how long it is but I would say that the Odin has been unsuccessful as a sniper. Like the majority of the um exchanges I've got into, uh, if I was using the HDR or the X50 they would either have, I would have killed them or broke their armor at least, whereas this has took like a one armor per gunfight and it's like, that's not what you want from a sniper, unless you're trying to play with a wheel of challenge and sniper, but then I would recommend using a marksman rifle instead. <laughs> but yeah, after this I'm going to try the, uh, M4, see how that goes. And then after the M4, I'm going to try the foul. I don't think I've ever used the foul, so I'm probably going to have to grind that one. I'm not going to lie, I can't really be bothered grinding a gun that I will never really use, but you never know. If we get a double XP, that's when I'll do it because, like, it only took a few hours, but. I like to have a bit of fun in um, sniper somewhere up here. I like to have fun in between my videos and not just have to um, only do what I am talking about in the video. I would like to have a couple of good games between, but when you're uh, making a video, you just want to get it done as fast as you can. Does that say? What does that gun say on it? Someone pause that and tell me what it says in, in the comments. Oh, I'm not going to be able to get up this ridge. I'm going to have to go all the way around and I know that there's a sniper around here somewhere. For sure there is. <coughs> Maybe this way? So I don't have to run all the way around? Are you crazy? Uh, I don't really see if there's going to be any more sniping points here now. Comes to it, we'll just have to uh, unleash the beast at closer range and see what happens because I've just been chasing the circle this entire game. Right, there's one enemy here. What's happening? If he's dropped down now, I'll be so frustrated. Just need to test this gun on somebody. A little bit more. Wow! How did that not kill me? Come on. He must have dropped down by now. Not appearing on my heart. I'm a bit worried that he's not appearing on my heart beat and I don't don't see him anywhere. Maybe he's he's either pushed around or just drops down. Oh or he died. Apparently. Have you got some shields for me? Nope. No, he's not dead. Oh, well, maybe he is. That looks, until I saw the ammo, that looked more like he just swapped his load out here. Alright. 
Alright, well, let's see. Game clip of. Oh! He must have known I was there that entire time. Um, now I would like to get my gun back, but it's in the gas. We need to find uh, the high ground. Try to stick to it until the next loadout. I could stay in the air, but I feel like I'm going to get sniped. I'll do it anyway. Let's see what happens. Two kills and none of them have been with that sniper. I'm definitely going with unsuccessful. Naturally, I am thinking not to get my Orden, but obviously this video is all about the Orden. Kind of can't, can't not. Oh crap on it! No, don't. Sh I've just come back from the gulag. We was in the exact same boat. That that was just unneeded. Yeah, Odin, unsuccessful. See you in the next video.